Hello, this is Dredd, and in today's video topic, we are going to be talking about ailment spreads. It is a mechanic that was added recently with the 1.0 patch with Warlock, and it's also been sprinkled around everywhere else. And the idea here is you are spreading an ailment or the ailment stacks on an enemy and applying those ailment stacks to other enemies. Now, I do believe it also hard codes the duration. So for instance, if you spread a poison with half its duration left, it will have half its duration on the next target, which is pretty good. Now, the idea is to just simply hit things a bunch and spread ailments all over, right? And this ends up becoming very strong and I haven't really seen many people talk about this at all. Obviously we've had broken things like the ward stuff, the profane veil, we've had uh, you know, Sentinels with like 40k ward with like healing hand and stuff like that. But this is kind of like flown under the radar because of all that. And I think it's actually going to end up becoming something that will eventually get nerfed. Now, it might not get nerfed next patch. It might not get nerfed the patch after that. But I believe this is one of those mechanics that is bound to be broken, at least in the future. Now, with all that being said, if you haven't already, I would heavily suggest leave a like on the video and subscribing to the channel as that is the best way of currently supporting me. Now, let's talk about ailment spreads more in detail, shall we? So, ailment spreads on specific places like Profane Veil are just ridiculously strong. You apply Mark for Death on something, right? And then it spreads all of those ailments around. So let's, let's say that we apply a large amount of ailments with like, let's say transplant, right? You can apply a bunch of ailments with that. With the rip blood mechanic, you know, you do a bunch of little rip bloods, which then those do the little explosions and you apply like 20 different, you know, ailments or whatever, in this case, poisoned and dam stacks. Then you take Bone Curse, which applies Mark for Death on everything it touches. You increase Bone Curse's AoE, and you just hit everything on the screen. And every single one of those enemies will spread their ailments five times around. So it'll spread like over here, over there against enemies, and those will start snacking. But the problem is, there's not necessarily a cooldown to this system, I don't believe. So that means that I could apply a bunch of ailments to a pack use bone curse multiple times and of course you know how multiplication works it gets pretty crazy now this is of course um you know it's limited by the amount of ailments like the ailment duration you have but there are ailments that can get very long durations like for instance bleed specifically with all the ailment spread nodes inside chthonic fissure you can make bleeds that last well over like 20 seconds if you wanted to so in theory with setups like this you could infinitely kill monsters like in infinitely right as long as you're spreading ailments so this technically is a mechanic that could push infinitely now for trash anyways not for single target for single target you know ailment spreads are kind of meh but the thing is, is in last epoch is if i can set up a mechanic where I can clear things with just simply like an interaction. Let's say, like I said, the interaction between Bone Curse and like some ailment spread stuff like that with Mark the Rat. If I can just do that, that means the rest of my character can be focused on dealing single target damage. I don't have to worry about how big of an AOE that I have on my skills. I just simply apply it to a few targets, right? Then I just spread it around. Now, I think that's a cool archetype and I think that that deserves to exist. I think it's great the fact that you can actually do this like it's such a cool little like mini archetype that they're forming with this but i do believe that there might need to be some kind of i don't want i would say like a cooldown internal cooldown at least for the same target so like for instance if i spread all my poison stacks to another enemy and then that enemy then puts you know spreads their poison stacks to the original enemy as you can see like it gets pretty ridiculous after that so i think that there might need to be like maybe a point like maybe like a one second duration like cooldown from applying it to the same target so that it doesn't get too ridiculous because like i said this is one of those cool mechanics that i want to see stay in the game but i am afraid might either get removed or nerfed into oblivion if it's left the way it is and that's mainly because you know it's just really freaking strong <laughs> like ailment <laughs> spreads are really freaking strong like i said not many people have messed around with it much right now because you know uh, they've been too busy playing falconer because let's let's be real falconer is really strong right now and 
I don't really have time to like delve deep into these ailment spread modifiers, but as someone who has played multiple ailment spread builds since, of course, the patch 1.0, I've played a Smite Healing Hands character. So the idea is we apply a large amount of electrifies with Smite, a very hefty electrifies, like each base electrify deals a lot of damage, but I don't apply that many, but then it gets spread around with, of course, Healing Hands or it spreads to targets and then those uh, those electrify stacks can ping pong between enemies. So that meant that with that setup, I did not need any amount of clear whatsoever on that build. Like for instance, smite builds in general have been really bad for clear, at least other than like, you know, let's say like hammer throw builds, right? But if you're going to play a self cast smite build, you have to usually use something like devouring orb or something for, uh, for clear to kill enemies instead of, you know, cause your smite is one hit target, right? But with this electrify stuff, it kind of bypasses that and allows you to spread those gigantic electrifies to multiple enemies so that of course you can clear things faster and this has led electrify smite healing hands to be a real build that i actually played as my cycle starter it is actually really really strong just to be able to have any amount of ailment spread in your build and it makes your build significantly better at least for an ailment build right obviously now for Warlock, there's a bunch of different ways of spreading your ailments right now. There's obviously Chthonic Fissure, there's Mark of the Rat and Profane Veil, there's stuff in Soul Feast as well, and all of these are just waiting to be touched and broken. Now, I think that like ailment spread should stay in the game, but I do believe, like I said before, that they are going to get nerfed in the future if they remain in their current state. Uh, there are a few other ways you can abuse this. Like for instance, right now, it, off the top of my head, you can apply a bunch of different poisons with Spirit Plague. So whenever you apply Spirit Plague to enemies, uh, they will apply also three poisons. Now this does not inherit the more damage modifiers inside Spirit Plague, but it does inherit the duration. So you can get like nasty nine second dur duration poisons on this specifically, okay? Now what's crazy though is that's whenever we apply Mark for, uh, whenever we apply Spirit Plague. So for instance, if you go and take the node inside Soul Feast and you apply and spread Spirit Plague to different enemies, right? You can also apply those poisons. And then of course you can spread those poisons with the same Spirit Plague and you can end up with enemies with like instantly like going from three poisons to 150 poisons like very 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 quickly with this setup because if you don't know if you reapply spirit plague to something it counts as applying spirit plague to it again so you get those three poisons again so even with two targets you'll apply spirit plague to them multiple times and re re uh re reapplying spirit plague which will you know apply those long second duration poisons and then you also uh, spread those uh, poisons every single time. So not only are you increasing the amount of poisons you apply, you're also increasing the amount of spirit plagues. Essentially, it gets pretty ridiculous very fast. And I think a build like that is going to be fun. It's actually the next build I'm going to be playing, I think, for uh, the Soul Character Found series. So uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, a lot of being said, this has been Dread. Just talking about and musing about um, ailment spreads in Last Epoch, and you probably should play them before they get nerfed. Bye.